I have been nominated for two awards and that means two award ceremonies that I am attending in September. I am so excited about it after what feels like forever in lockdown and restrictions and living in my pajamas and my gym gear, it feels like quite the treat to be going to an award ceremony and to be celebrating some of my achievements and just to be a finalist in categories such as vlogger of the year and best vlog is really, really, really amazing for me but it comes with trying to find a dress and I am really picky and I don't have a lot of body confidence and so finding the right dress that makes me feel fabulous is sometimes a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to bring you along as we try and hunt out the perfect awards dresses for me. Dresses, I need more than one, it blows my mind and yes I want to because I want to have different uh, dresses for the different events. They're literally 10 days apart from each other. The first awards are for Blogosphere magazine, which will be very glitz, very glam. The venue is gorgeous. And the second awards are for a company called Traverse. They're the Traverse Cre Creator Awards. And I think that'll be a little bit more low key, but I still want to feel really glam. I'm a size 16 UK. I like a midi length, but I quite like the idea of potentially a short one could look nice, maybe for the second awards. I like navy blue or like an emerald green are my favourite sort of colours if I'm going for a proper colour or like a little black dress. I have a budget of anywhere between £100 and £200 for both dresses. I was going to gather all the dresses together for you because I've ordered some that are coming over the next few weeks. Some have just arrived today but I want the chance to be able to send back the ones I'm not keeping. So basically you're going to come along with me for the next few days or few weeks how long the dress take to arrive and we're going to try on all of the ones I've ordered and see how I go. These are quite good if you've got any events or you're a wedding guest or anything coming up that uh, you might need something um, like this for an occasion dress basically. So let's try some on. <laughs> I'm nervous. So here are today's dresses we're going to be trying on. As you can see I've got two blue ones and a green. I bought all of them from John Lewis. Right the first dress we're trying on is this navy blue one with little sleeves. Like I said I like a little sleeve because I don't like the tops of my arms. I've got like the red bobbly arms and this was £150 from Monsoon but obviously got from John Lewis. I will leave links to all the dresses because even if they don't look right on me they might look good on you. So Let's start with the first one. I do not expect the first dress to hit. So hard to do up dresses like this on your own, isn't it? Or is it because it doesn't fit? <laughs> what are we saying? Oh, it could be too tight. That's okay if it's too tight because we can always go up a size. But first up on the top here, I quite like the sleeves. I feel like with dresses, you have to have your shoes, your hair, your makeup. I'm not sure if it's just not very me. Um, obviously it doesn't fit really anyway. I wanna be able to do it up myself. This is very pretty. I like the sleeves actually. I like the little bit of glitter. The midi length is quite nice, but it's just not fitting me right. If it fit, will I keep it? I still don't even think so then. Number one, return. This next dress is another midi one with little sleeves like this, like the color and I've never tried this brand before, Adriana Papel. It's a US 12, UK 16, and this one was, I don't know how much this one was, I think it was over 100 pound. Yeah, that's not fitting me either. Maybe I'm closer to a size 18 right now than a 16, or maybe these dresses are just small. <laughs> I think it's hard to judge a dress that I haven't got fully done up, but on first impressions, there's a lot of things I like about it. I like the sleeves again, Clearly this is something that works for me. I love this color and I think this navy blue with a red lip could look really lovely on the night. But, and I will show you in the mirror, it's sucking me in quite a lot around my stomach and I really want a dress that like floats out. So this is not it. But the bottom of it is really quite pretty. I feel like I can't breathe in it <laughs> and that's not what we want. But I love the top. I think this is so pretty up here. And I like the length. You can imagine it, can't you? With a nice pair of heels, my hair done. It's very pretty on the top and the bottom, but not so much round the middle. I'm not, I'm not liking that. I knew this would be a challenge, guys. This is why you're coming with me for this. And last but not least on today's dress agenda is this green number from Phase 8. I have no idea how much this was. Oh, 120 pound. And no, it wasn't. It was in the sale. I think it was half price, 60 pound. 
and I thought this color could look really nice with my hair color what we saying but on first impressions I don't really love how it's looking but let's put it on well I didn't realize it was going to be a wrap dress so already I'm not feeling that the color is kind of nice though it's a bit bland for an awards dress though it's not got any sparkle or like anything special to it but let's just try and how am I meant to tie this okay well at least it fits I know a lot of you are gonna say you like this color on me and I agree but it's not giving me wow vibes right good things about it I like this sort of detailing here that's quite pretty the color is quite nice it is nice to have a pop of color isn't it it does just feel a little bit bland it does fit I don't hate it I do like the color this is nice up here I love the little sleeves they're like perfect sleeve length but I don't like the wrap and I just think it's a bit nothing on me um, it's a very good price for 60 quid for a really nice phase 8 dress midi length it takes a lot of boxes on paper but actually on I just don't think it's um wowing me hello everyone it's the next day and we have our next order from asos and i wasn't actually finding a lot on asos they do change their stock quite regularly and things do come in and out of stock all the time as well obviously people are ordering and sending things back um oh a mac lipstick sample kit thank you saw this dress and thought it ticked quite a few of the boxes uh oh <laughs> Now I've got it in person, I don't really like that. And this is also blue. It's got like a flower design on it. Mm, I don't think that's very me. But I quite liked the pleating of it. This was 55 pounds, I think. Okay, so first impressions. My boobs look fantastic. Like how they're looking in there. I quite like the sleeves. Obviously it doesn't fit me. I can't get that tiny little bit up. I don't know if that's me or the fact the zip is struggling to like even when i took it down it was struggling to go over the that bit if that makes sense i still think it's too small so i would have to go up to an 18. i don't hate this i mean i'm sending it back so it doesn't fit but i could reorder it in another size i do quite like this i'm not sure if it's very awards dress i think this would look gorgeous for a wedding it's a good wedding guest dress i like the length i love this pleating i have a black dress that's very similar it's so annoying it's like so close to fitting me but it just doesn't so clearly i need to be ordering a size bigger i think at this rate there's literally no stretch in that at all i thought i wouldn't like it but i don't know the flowers are quite pretty i love the whole design of the dress i what is it is it just because it doesn't fit me today we have two dresses to try on this one just arrived from coast and coast had some really pretty options and i saw this one in the sale loads of dresses are in the sale and it again ticked a lot of the boxes in terms of color a bit more sparkle feels a bit more like an awards dress Ooh, okay it's definitely sparkly I'm not sure if the bottom looks too much like a ballerina tutu, but... Okay, this is actually quite nice. I did want sparkle, so it's giving me sparkle. I like the sleeves. I like the colour. I quite like this. It is very, very pretty. It is a little bit short for my liking. I would have liked it a bit longer. It does fit, which is nice, considering some of the others haven't i like the v-neck all right ignore the color of the shoes i just wanted to see how i'd feel in a pair of heels these are not the right shoes obviously need blue ones but the dress is really short guys i'm not sure how i feel i think i would feel much more comfortable in a midi especially mid-september end of september i really like it but it's not making me feel the way i want the dress to make me feel which is like fabulous <laughs> i think i preferred yesterday's asos dress you know i put my pajamas on hair up <laughs> Mum and I have decided after I FaceTimed her, we talked it through. We decided that it was a little bit too short. I was just not feeling comfortable in it. And I thought I wanted sequins to make it feel like a glam dress. But I realise now that I feel more glam in a dress like the ASOS one that's just really flattering on me, that's the right length. It can be a more low key dress, but looks better on me and my body shape. It doesn't have to be all out there 
and I realise that now, but it took me that process of trying all these different dresses to like understand and appreciate that. Honestly, trying on these dresses when I look like trash is not doing it justice, but this is the size 18, so one up. I mean, it is a bit too big around the top now. Like yesterday's dress obviously was a lot better fit. Yeah, there's like way too much fabric going on here, which is just so annoying. And that's gonna be hard to get that tailored. I'm not keeping it, it's not right. It feels too big and baggy around the top here. Even if I got a seamstress on it, it's still not an awards dress. It's not what I had in mind. At this point, I am feeling a little bit deflated and this is exactly why I started this now, beginning of August, when the events are middle of September, to give myself enough time to do this and try these dresses on and send them back and get a refund and whatever. But I am feeling a bit like, is it me? Or is it just the dresses? And then my mum said, why don't you rent something, like hire a dress, which is not a crazy idea. I just haven't really explored that before. I've never done it. I think it's such a big deal as well because I haven't been to anything like this in so long. It's been since, well, what, 2019 probably, if not earlier. Morning, looking a bit rough today. Literally just woken up. Was at Hendu all day yesterday. And um, it was my first one, actually. It was very fun. At this point, I am losing faith in finding the right dress, but we're not giving up just yet because I found two more dresses. We're going slightly off from what I was picking. One of them is actually a maternity dress. I am not pregnant, but I don't think you should rule out just because it's maternity or just because it's petite or tall or whatever. We've got a green. I'm not sure I like that green actually. And then we've got this sort of pink floral thing. I don't think it helps that I haven't done my hair makeup, but this could be possibly the worst dress um, that I've tried on this video. It's probably the way I'm standing in my hair makeup not being done, but you know, we can get a vibe and this is not it. Um, it's comfortable, it's comfortable. It sort of skims my stomach, nice little button detailing, probably do need to put a bra on, <laughs> but this is just it just doesn't suit me um it's a little bit restrictive um up here it's a very strange shape i'm not even wearing contact lenses i can't even see <laughs> is that it's literally got to this point in the video when i do that squishing my boobs what is that all about it's just not doing it for me is it i think it does need to be midi obviously ignore the creases in it i do like the way it sort of like shapes me like this i don't hate the color and i quite like the three quarter sleeves actually that's quite comfortable it's just the top area it's so weirdly shaped <sighs> honestly i just feel so exhausted at this point i don't even like anything <laughs> hello i've got another dress but the gardeners are here making all that noise um so we might make this one quick today but i bought this by phase eight studio eight phase eight from House of Fraser. It was a very spontaneous last minute buy late last yeah. night. They only had a size 18 left, which as we know, I'm between sizes right now, so this could be a great idea or or not. It looks, why is it so wide? Um, right, let's try it on. It's definitely too big. Like this is way too big on me. Yeah, that's not, that's not gonna work. Um, if I love a dress loads, I can always get it tailored. So I guess it's better to be too big, but I just don't love it. Like it's not doing anything for me. Um, yeah, I, I look like I'm going to a wedding and I want to feel more glam. I really thought this would be it, you know? Oh, it's so annoying that it looks so different on the models. Like I really thought with a red lip, I had this vision, navy heels, little clutch, but this is, it's just too big. Why am I so in between sizes in so many brands? It's so annoying. So, so far, how many dresses have we tried? I'd say at least 10 and we're not getting any closer. I'm feeling so flat about the dresses, guys. Like I really am. It's been a few weeks since those last clips and I bought a jumpsuit from M&S, which you can see here. I was trying it on yesterday and I really wanted to love this. Benji and my mum both thought it was ticking all the boxes and was really glam. It looked like a dress, even though it actually was a jumpsuit, but I just didn't love it. I think because it had long arms and long legs, I was just feeling like I was wearing a bin bag 
honestly I felt so rubbish in it so both of them said if I'm not loving it return it because it was 150 pound and it was about two weeks since I bought it and it just didn't quite feel right you know so I returned to the jumpsuit today and I was feeling really flat as I'm sure you can imagine it's not been successful so far has it but I went into monsoon and I had actually been in there a few weeks back I'd done all the sort of high street shops I went into Bormatan center and did all the department stores that were left unfortunately a lot of the high street is quite empty right now it's very like sad and I went to London recently and popped in a few shops when I was out there but I was not finding anything on the high street but I did go in monsoon today and I was not only successful with one dress I got three so just like buses you wait for one and it never comes and all of a sudden you get loads well that's exactly what happened today so I'm going to show you the three final dresses that I picked today two were in the sale one was not I'm confident I know which one I want to wear for the first awards but I would love your opinion on what you think I should wear for the second awards either way I'm keeping all three dresses the rest of them I'm going to keep my wardrobe anyway because as we know I obviously still have things I go to wedding guest dresses I need um, events and when I do a gala night on a cruise ship things like that I'll always gravitate towards using these dresses again and obviously yes I know I do have previous dresses from things like that in the past but nothing was really feeling right I did go down that route and tried on all my old dresses nothing was feeling good so we're gonna go through and show you the three dresses I picked up today so I'll do the two that are my second choices and then the one the final one we'll do that one last so the first dress obviously the all monsoon was originally 90 pound and i got it in the sale for 27 pound it's a size 16 and it's a short dress so i think this one could be good for the second awards but let me show you on also i cut my finger today which is why i'm wearing a plaster so i'm hoping you can appreciate that this is a really pretty dress this top layer is really lovely the embroidery on it with the sort of netting it's like a mesh with pink flowers on it and then navy underneath but i just really liked this i think when you've got the right heels little clutch it's sort of simple but looks evening e <laughs> evening e good so this dress is not the one for the main awards i'm going to like the first ones the blogosphere ones but i do really love it and for 27 pound i thought it was a bargain so this is the first dress again we need to appreciate what it would look like with my hair and makeup done as well Dress number two is bright for me. I actually really love the colours and the design, the pattern. This was originally £99 and I paid 30 So 30 quid. It is a size 18. I would have liked it in a 16 because it definitely would have fit me a little bit better. But I'll show you it on and you'll see why I bought this for 30 quid because it's like a no-brainer. It's quite hard to show you this dress with the sun here, but... I'm hoping you can appreciate it a little bit it's a really gorgeous color so again like once my hair's done i really quite like this it's very bold and will look great in photos and it's got long sleeves with like a little cuff which is elasticated it's very comfortable i keep finding myself pulling it across here i think i might need to get my mom to put a little popper in it but for 30 quid it's just such a nice dress really floaty and comfortable and midi which we like so yeah this is why i went for this one as well i promise you that this dress actually looks better in person i feel like it's not coming across as nice on camera this was sadly not in the sale but it was a size 16 it was 140 pound so it is expensive but the detailing on it the embroidery it feels like an awards dress to me i love this look at it go all the way up nicely without any problem it's crazy isn't it the sizing and things but hopefully watching this video you can tell and see that sizing means all. it's got this gorgeous little silk bow which i just think adds a little something there it really is nice the sleeves are exactly what i want perfect covering the tops of my arms just sits in all the right places for me really like the color and then hopefully you can see it a bit more back there i'm going to show you in the mirror as well it's a midi, it's floaty, it's sparkly in all the right places, but not too sparkly like that other one we had. I really love it. It just is right. It just ticks all those boxes for me. Once I get a nice pair of heels, let me know what colour heels I go for. Maybe silver or gold, maybe silver. And then I can have all silver accessories. 
what do we think it just feels right <laughs> and that's what i wanted in a dress so this is the dress finally after all of that so that's a wrap on trying on dresses for the awards obviously like i said sizing just means nothing really when so many brands are so different and i will rewear the dresses obviously for future things so i'm really happy to have some new things in my wardrobe now that make me feel good let me know if there were any particular dresses that you really loved as i said i'll leave some links below for you but hopefully you enjoyed this fun little video please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're not ready and i'll see you again very soon in my next vlogs thanks for watching bye